when I say I've got the haul, I mean I've got the haul. I went insane these past two weeks. angels welcome back to my channel if you're new here I am so glad you're here my name is Carissa and I do all kinds of content on this channel including things like this to do with makeup and fashion music but I also do poetry videos I do videos in regards to spirituality and vlogs so if any of that sounds interesting to you I would greatly appreciate if you would subscribe and serious agrees <laughs> I've got a huge shopping haul for you guys today. I don't think I've ever done a shopping haul on this channel before, so this is this is a first time for me. I've got tons of clothes and tons of vinyls to show you guys. Like, it's actually ridiculous. Like, I spent way too much money, but these pieces are just too good and I have to, I have to share. I have so much to show you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right in starting with the clothes i want to show you guys some crystal bracelets that just got sent to me by otter spirit they sent me three bracelets this is called the intuition and creativity pack which was the one i was the most drawn to this specific pack comes with a moonstone bracelet an amazonite bracelet and it also comes with one of my favorite crystals lapis lazuli to help ignite your creativity and be in touch with your intuition these are are so pretty and I love the energy that they emit. If you're interested in getting your own crystal bracelet set from Otter Spirit, I do have a coupon code down in the description. I'm gonna start with my favorite thrift store in LA so far. I obviously haven't been to all of them, but this is definitely one of my favorites. Every time I go, I always find a gem. My favorite thrift store in LA is St. Vincent de Paul. They are a huge thrift store. They've always got cool deals and sales going on, but they also just have the best pieces. Every time I go, I find something. So I'm excited to share with you guys what I got. I'm also gonna be trying on all the pieces so you can see what it looks like on. One thing you need to know about me is I frequent the kids section because it's better pricing, but also I'm a somewhat petite Woman, the things I have found in the kids section are gems. This is from the kids section. Look how adorable this is. When I originally got this though, it was a different length and it had a whole bottom part, but I ended up cutting it off because it was kind of giving nightgown and not a cute way. It wasn't very flattering. I just prefer a shorter cut if I have a high neckline most of the time. Not always, but in this scenario, I wanted to cut off the bottom of the dress and just make it a mini dress but it's so precious i love the neckline the pattern is just stunning i love the floral stripes i love the lace detailing i believe this has no tag on it but i believe this has to be from either the 60s or 70s but i believe it was just a kid's nightgown but i I'm gonna make it and wear it and style it like a 60s baby doll dress. Something that I do a lot is I'll take either a large blouse or a really short dress and I'll just make them like 60s baby doll style pieces. If this teaches you anything, make sure you check every section of the thrift store because you never know what you're gonna find. I'm so glad I have this for my dress collection. Okay, next I got this in the kids section as well. The brand of this one is Karina, but this is just a very sweet, simple little blouse, or it might be a kid's dress, honestly, but I'm gonna just wear it as a long form blouse with some cute little bloomers to match. But I love this piece. I love the blue flower detailing. I love the silk paneling on the back. The cap sleeves are just so precious. I love the blue trimming on the bottom. It just is like the most beautiful finishing touch. There's so many ways to style this. I can't wait to wear this out. Definitely one of my favorite pieces that I've thrifted so far. Next thing that I got is a little bit of an anomaly. It doesn't quite fit me perfectly well, but it's short enough to where it's it's cute. It's giving 1960s. It's giving Jane Birkin, okay? I love the neckline, first of all. This scoop neckline is so 60s fabulous. But it's just this simple little pink 
kind of smock style dress. It's very baggy, it fits loosely, it has pockets, which I really like. Every girl on the planet loves a piece with pockets. It looks pretty plain to the eye, but whenever I put it on, it really just comes to life. It definitely gives Jane Birkin and whenever I spotted it in the thrift store, I stared at it for a second because I was like, can I style that to be Jane Birkin core? Or is it just gonna look weird because it's baggy? But no, it looks really cute on and I feel like wearing this with some knee-high boots or some really cool sneakers would be a really great way to style it. It's really, really cute. The tag says Pure Jill and it's 100% linen and it's very comfortable and it's perfect for the hot California summer days. All right, next piece that I got. The brand is Lloyd Williams. This is definitely a blouse, but this is gonna be one of those things that I style as a baby doll dress because it's quite long on me. Not too long, but just long enough. It's this satin little number that has like a floral detailing in the satin that I really, really like. It just adds something to it for sure. It buttons up right here and ties, which is so cute. I love that. This one looks really cute on. I'm so excited to style it. This little detail right here, you just tie it into a bow, which just really adds something. It just adds a little detail that makes it a little more elegant and special. I don't know, I really like this piece. And when I saw it, I was undecided. And the thing about these LA thrift stores is none of them have dressing rooms for the most part. So whenever I buy things, I kind of just take a gamble and hope that they fit right or hope I can find a way to style it to be really cute. Whenever I tried this one on, I was like, oh yeah, this is really cute. Next, I got this little gingham top. This one doesn't quite fit me right. It's a little baggy in the armpit chest area, but I feel like styled the right way, it, it could still be really, really cute. The brand is J. Crew. It's a size extra small, but it's still a little big on me, but it's just a simple navy blue little gingham top. I'm clearly a fan of gingham, <laughs> but this is like the perfect summer transitioning into autumn piece. I thought about putting it on my Depop because it doesn't quite fit, but then after looking at it long enough, I was like, no, I can't part. I can't part with her. She's just too cute. Such a good find. Really, really good find. Next piece I got, I'm really excited about the cut of this skirt is everything. I've been looking for a skirt like this for a really long time. The brand is California Jam. Never heard of that brand, but this is such a precious skirt. This skirt could easily give like Sunday school in a bad way if you don't style it right, but it also gives like Rory at Chilton, um, light academia. It's really, really cute and precious. I l I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this skirt but it's a midi skirt slash maxi skirt, I guess. It could be a maxi, but it fits me more like a midi maxi, borderline maxi. But I loved the waistline, this little belt loop situation, and the button in the back. You could put a thin belt in here if you wanted to, but it's just a really cute, really well cut and well tailored midi skirt it's just a basic cream color it could be styled a million ways i love finding pieces that i can style a million ways because it just opens up so many possibilities the possibilities are truly endless with this skirt you could style this for autumn super easily as well with just some tights underneath and a tight fitting sweater next piece that i got is really really simple it's sleeveless little collared button up but the way I like to style a shirt like this is to tie it up to make it cropped, but it's also how a lot of women in the 50s and 60s styled shirts like this, and I'm obviously very influenced by that era of fashion. The brand is Indigo Rose, which I've also never heard of. Yeah, I saw this and I was like, that's a really good basic. I don't have a sleeveless collared top like this, so I was glad to find it. But yeah, this is just really good to have in your closet, so I picked this up. And the last two things that I got at St. Vincent de Paul's, oh my gosh, when I saw these, I was so excited. I got two bags that are just the most precious, adorable things to me. I, I love them. I see the potential in them to be styled a few ways. So I got this little bag first, this little satchel bag. Oh my God, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. I love 
that it has a little belt like this. I love the shape of this purse. It's fairly small, but I just love it. I love the stitching. It's definitely faux leather, but I love the colors. I love that it could match a lot of things. This little belt reminds me of the 60s. Like this just looks like a cute little 60s little bag. How adorable is this? The bags at St. Vincent de Paul, the bag section, always pops off. I don't know what baddie keeps donating her purses to St. Vincent de Paul, but thank you. Keep doing it because I keep finding gems. So I got that bag. I ended up getting two bags because I saw this one and I just couldn't leave the store without it. Try walking past this in the store and try to walk out without it challenge. It's definitely giving summer picnic. I mean, anything that's wicker kind of gives that vibe, but I love that this had a little bow clasp opening and then you open it up and it has just the most precious little boho vintage pattern on the inside. I'm definitely going to use this on my hot California summer days. I love the clasp of it. I don't know. Yes, that was everything that I got at St. Vincent de Paul's. The next store that I highly recommend is called Gimme Danger. It's a curated vintage store rather than a thrift, so it's a little more expensive. It's in Silver Lake. The workers that work there were so kind, but they had so many good pieces and I have to share it with you. So the first piece goes crazy. This piece is so good. It's so good. I posted pictures of it on my Instagram and even Lana Del Rey herself liked the pictures. So this dress is Lana Del Rey approved. I know I'm, I'm on everyone's Rob list with this one. This is also from the kids section. Y'all, I stay shopping in the kids section, but it fits like a glove. It fits beautifully. It is just this vintage, 1970s kids church dress I'm pretty sure but look how precious and then the bottom has this gingham paneling OMG well first of all this floral little number is like an overlay to a gingham dress so the gingham can kind of peek through the floral pattern I just love the way this is designed I love this panel on the front the back has these really precious little flower buttons. This was definitely made for a child, but luckily it fits me. It's just so darn cute, and there's so many ways to style this too. I feel like it's kind of giving Orion. Like, I feel like Orion would have this in her closet. I'm obsessed with this and I'm so lucky that it fits me and I'm so glad to have it in my dress collection. It's just such a perfect piece. Okay, next piece from Gimme Danger is these little bloomer style vintage shorts. These are pretty short, pretty slay. But these are from the 1970s and I love the little gold buttons on the front and these are just bloomer styles so they're so good to wear underneath baby doll dresses and these are just a nice little denim pair. I have a white pair and I have a black pair of bloomers but I really wanted a denim pair so I'm glad that I found these. They're so cute on as well. And then also from Gimme Danger, I did iron this, but now it's, it's already wrinkled again. I got this button up style top. I was obsessed with the collar and the fact that it's lace. I just think that is so freaking cute. This is from the 1970s. I love the lace paneling on the front of this top. It's just such a precious, little basic button up, kind of like the other one I showed you guys earlier, but this one is actually vintage and it has so many little details that just make it so beautiful. Gimme Danger has the goods. So yes, I got that top and another top I got, this is obviously way more casual, it's just a t-shirt, but it's vintage and I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. This is a Joni Mitchell vintage concert tee that someone cropped, but I actually really like it cropped. I think it's super cute, but look at Joni. Look at Miss Joni. She's so beautiful. I'm a big fan of Joni Mitchell, if you did not know. So whenever I saw this, I had to have it. It's definitely a more casual piece, but it's good for running errands, street style type fits. I love a good street style fit, so I am also a big fan of just normal t-shirts. It having Joni Mitchell and it being vintage, it just had my name written all over it. Joni, I love you. 
And the last two things I got from Gimme Danger, these are like my new prized possessions. These are two pairs of pants from the 1970s from the kids section that fit me like a dream. The fact that pants from the kids section fit is like an actual miracle. Like God was looking down on me when I found these. So first pair are these kind of reddish bell bottoms with this paneling in the front. These just scream 1970s, but the bell bottom pant kills me. These are gorgeous. I'm so glad I tried these on because at first I was like, there's no way these pants from the kids section are going to fit me, but I'll try them on, I guess. And then when I tried them on, I was floored. These are so gorgeous. As a short girly to find a vintage pair of bell bottoms that actually fit the length of my leg is a miracle. Oh my God. Like probably one of the best pairs of pants that I own. These go crazy. These are for sure going to be in my autumn wardrobe rotation. What a find. These are just too good. And the other pair are also so good. These are vintage Dickies from the 1970s from the kids section as well. Same deal. They are bell bottoms that actually fit the length of my leg, which is unheard of for me. I'm 5'1". My legs are very, very short. So finding bell bottoms like this is like crazy, but two pairs I had to take both of them home, but these are just a bright blue high-waisted pair and the bell bottom on these are a little less intense than those, but they're still like a decent bell bottom pair of 1970s pants. These are just so, so good. I'm so glad I picked these up. So yeah, that was everything from Gimme Danger. They snapped, they literally snapped. If you live in the Silver Lake area or in LA at all, highly recommend Gimme Danger. All right, y'all, that was all of the clothes that I got. <laughs> I basically got a whole new wardrobe, but now I'm gonna show you guys all of the vinyls and goodies that I got from Amoeba Music on Hollywood Boulevard. You can't tell, but this is so heavy. Amoeba Music on Hollywood Boulevard is my kryptonite. I can't walk in there without spending at least $100. I love Amoeba Music. They have every vinyl known to man, and I, I have a pretty hefty vinyl haul, so. Get yourself a hot tea and some popcorn because man, I went crazy in Amoeba Music. First of all, to show you the non-vinyl things that I got from Amoeba Music, they do have more than just vinyls. They have all kinds of music, old Hollywood memorabilia. I saw these and I had to get them. Like I couldn't leave the store without these. They're just little coasters, but Marilyn Monroe and Jim Morrison little stone coasters like I had to have these I had to have these and they were really cheap so I just picked them up these are my besties and I also got this vintage magazine as you guys know I am a big fan of Kate Bush and when I saw this mojo magazine vintage picture of her on the cover I collapsed I needed to bring this home like look look at Kate look at her slaying I love that I have this now and I'm gonna have it on display in my in my bathroom because I don't know I just feel like it looks cute in there now for the vinyls this is crazy I, I got so many it, it should be illegal some of these are used some of them are new this is a used copy so it was a lot cheaper but I got Simon and Garfunkel's sounds of silence I finally got Simon and Garfunkel on vinyl thank God I've been really needing them in my collection. So I went ahead and picked this up and it is a used vintage copy, but it doesn't have any skips, which is a miracle. It's like, honestly, ever since I got my new record player and it has such a crisp, good sound, I have been an absolute fiend for buying more and more vinyls. Like I can't stop. Like I, <laughs> I just want a giant vinyl collection. But yes, I picked this one up. This is a fantastic album. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good on vinyl. And next I got these two vinyls that were honestly such a steal. There's only one skip on this one. It was only $8 because it's used, but I got Jefferson Airplane's Surrealistic Pillow, which is a fantastic album as well. It sounds so beautiful on my record player. I'm so glad I have this for my collection. I love this album. And I also got for super super cheap price, a Kate Bush vinyl. Now I have another Kate Bush vinyl. It was on sale for $9 and it's used. It's Kate Bush's Lionheart. Oh, 
look at my grandma. I made a joke on TikTok that Kate Bush is my grandma and so many people took me seriously and they were like, she doesn't have any grandchildren or something. And I was like, I meant she's my grandma in my mind. She's my grandma hypothetically. This is one of her least favored albums among her fan base, but I'm still glad to have a copy of this. It was so cheap, I couldn't pass it up. I started doing this little fun game <laughs> where I go to the clearance section and I pick up some random vinyls that I've never heard of. They're like a dollar, two dollars a piece. I've never heard of these artists. I just go based off the genre and I bring it home and it's like a little surprise of whether or not the artist is good, whether or not I'll like the album, what the artist even sounds like. It's such a fun, it's a fun little game. If you ever go to a record store, go to the clearance section and just randomly pick one up and see if you like it. It's fun. So I got this one. This is Jennifer Warns, Jennifer Warns, Shot Through the Heart. Um, I got this purely because I loved the cover and the back cover of it. It was only $2 and this is 1970s folk. Actually, a lot of these are 1970s folk. I love 1970s music, what can I say? But yes, I got this one and it sounds so good on vinyl. It's actually a really good album, so I was pleasantly surprised by this one. 1979. This one I just thought was such a precious cover and it's 1970s country but this is Bonnie Ferguson's I'll Be There album. It's such a wholesome, cute, girly country record from the 70s. It's so precious. I actually really enjoy this one. Next, I was really pleasantly surprised by this one. This is a vinyl called, I don't know if that's their band name, or this is probably their self-titled, but it's a band called Two Nice Girls, and it's 19, it's from 1989, and it's folk as well. But this album is so good. Like, this is genuinely, like, such a good record. I'm so glad I picked this up. I just picked it up because it said Two Nice Girls, and I was like, I'm sold. I, I love Nice Girls, and I'm really glad that I got it on vinyl, and it was only $3. And lastly, this is one I have still yet to listen to. I picked this up purely because of the cover. Does this remind you of anybody? Does this remind anybody else of Mia Goth from X? Maxine? Yeah, that's the vibes. The blue eyeshadow? Slay. This is Bette Midler, which I know is a very popular artist, but I've actually never listened to her, but this is called The Divine Miss M, and this was made in 1972. So chances are I'll really like it. I love music from the 70s. And the last two vinyls that I have here are two of my favorite albums of all time. I've been wanting to get them on vinyl forever, so I finally just took the plunge and spent the money and got them, but I have Slow Dives Suvlaki on vinyl. I love this album. If you've never listened to it, I highly recommend. I am a fan of shoegaze music, so yeah, I don't know if that's something y'all knew about me, but I do love shoegaze. I love Slow Dive. I'm a big fan. I, this is my favorite album from them. I've been wanting to get it on vinyl forever, and when I saw it at Amoeba, I simply could not walk out of the store without it. This is such a good record to put on when I'm writing. Whenever I'm sitting down to write, I like to put on a vinyl, but this is one of my go-to records to put on whenever I'm trying to get in a creative headspace. Something about it just like gets to me in the best way. And the last vinyl that I got, this is like one of my favorite records of all time for sure. I finally got a copy of Mazzy Star's among My Swan. This is one of my favorite Mazzy Star records, top two for sure. And I finally have a copy. I have yet to open it. It's still in the plastic wrapping. Every time I go to Amoeba Music, they have so many options. But in the Mazzy Star section, they only ever have So Tonight That I Must See, which I already have on vinyl. And I've been looking for Among My Swan forever. And every time I go, they never have it. The last time that I went, they had it, and they only had one copy. You're coming home with me. I'm obsessed with this record. I'm so happy to have it for my collection. Oh, I forgot that I did buy some books. Amoeba Music also sells books, and I bought two books, and I'll share them with you now. So I finally got a copy of Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. I've already read this book, but I read it ebook style. I don't have a physical copy and I have been wanting to reread a Gillian Flynn book, either Sharp Objects or this one. This would be a perfect October reread for me. So I went ahead and picked it up. It was on sale for $5. So I just added it to my cart. And the last thing in my haul, I finally got a copy of Patti Smith's 
M Train. I have yet to read this book. I read Patti Smith's Just Kids and that was my favorite thing I read last year. And I've been wanting to read M Train so bad. I'm a big fan of Patti Smith's music. I saw it at Amoeba on sale and I just had to pick it up. I'm not even sure completely what this one is about. I know it's a memoir style book. It has photography inside just like just kids did but i'm so glad to have a copy of this i'm a big fan of patty smith's writing i had to get a copy of m train and yeah guys that is my giant shopping haul i got so much crap it's not even funny <laughs> and i know nobody really cares about the things i bought but i appreciate you sticking all the way to the end but i love you guys Thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want more thrift hauls or maybe a thrift vlog would be fun, uh, definitely let me know in the comments. It also would mean so, so much to me if you guys went and watched my previous video, my Outside Lands vlog. Um, I don't know why that vlog makes me like so emotional. I'm very emotionally attached to that vlog um, and I worked really hard on it. If you haven't watched it yet, I would greatly appreciate it. There's a little poem that I wrote at the end as well if you're interested but i love you guys Ooh. i love you guys have a great rest of your sunday and i'll see you around bye